Hey everyone, it's Mike and I'm back with our second week of our preseason workout. I hope you guys got a lot out of the first week. Just a little recap, I talked about hip mobility and how important the hips are in the golf swing and then to get more stability for balance in those hips by using the glutes and that also will help with more mobility in the, hip, in the hips. I talked some core strength and I showed you two great exercises for core strength and then I touched on a little bit of thoracic mobility and then a little bit of shoulder mobility. So I wanna, this week we're gonna kinda of piggyback off of that. We're gonna work on some dynamic stretching, which is stretching through movement, and then a little bit of balance through movement that's gonna really transfer over in your golf game. And then the other thing that we're gonna do today is talk about a little bit of strengthening and more stability for the upper body and a little bit more thoracic mobility. So, hope you enjoy it, and I hope you're doing great already on your second week. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about is dynamic mobility. So when you hold a stretch for a long period of time, that's what's called static stretching, and that allows the, the muscle to um, elongate. Now we're going to stretch through movement. So this is really working on mainly a mobile joint that we're trying to get a little bit more mobility in through movement. So first one is a hip stretch. So what you're going to do is you're going to pretend you have a hurdle right here. You're going to raise your leg, go over that hurdle, and then step. And then with this, it involves movement. So you're going to do the other one. And then you can just take a few steps forward. And then once we go forward, we're going to go backwards. So the same thing. And with this, you want to lead with the foot. So we're stretching that internal hip rotation on, on that side. And we're going to lead with the foot. So when you're coming over, you're going to lead with the knee. Bring the foot up. Now you're, you're stretching the internal rotation on the other side. So that's a great hip stretch to do that. If you're having trouble with your balance, just take it easy, take it slow, or maybe put something next to you, and then just go back and forth this way. But just a great stretch. You can do that before you play as well. So try that one. Do about 15 on each side, and that's going to give you noticeably more mobility in the hip. So one of the best dynamic stretches that you can get for your shoulder turn or thoracic is just taking a golf club and making a turn back and forth just like that. And what that's doing is it's you're getting your turning through the right motion. One thing you want to avoid is, is any leaning with your head. Try and keep your head square and you're going to turn just like that. It's a great warm-up that you can do and it's a great stretch that you can do for your thoracic spine. The other thing to get the shoulders open a little bit, you can grab it with your palms in on the edges and then go up and push with your bottom hand. So you're going back and forth both ways and you're pushing to open up that chest. So try both of those, 15 to each side, and then work on keeping your lower body stable after you've done a few, and that'll help with that lower body stability as well. This is the thoracic bridge. I like to tell my clients that this is like opposite of sitting. So you're gonna get down on your butt, you're gonna have your hands behind your back, and your feet at shoulder width. And then you're just going to push up your hip straight up and come down. We're going to do two sets of 10. A great exercise that will mobilize shoulder, activate glutes, and get thoracic extension. Something that we don't get when we sit all the time. Hunched over, glutes are off, core is off, and we get the rounded shoulders. The progression of this exercise is to add thoracic rotation. So we're going to be on all four, we're going to put out our leg to the side and then push up in the same way as in the thoracic bridge, but we're going to keep this arm out straight at 90 degrees. So this is a great way to get some thoracic rotation and we just go over to the side, same thing here. And we're going to do six each side, two sets. The plank is still one of the best exercises we can do for our core, and I'm going to show you a modified version. We're going to start in the push-up position. And from here, we're just going to go out with our leg to the side. We'll go side to side. It's a great exercise for core stability and hip mobility. The progression of this exercise is going to be to almost like simulate a golf swing. So we're going to be in the same position, and then we're going to do backswing, downswing, backswing, downswing. Get the thoracic 
rotation in the backswing. We get the core stability during the whole exercise. And then we get the hip mobility and hip stability in the downswing. So how's your balance doing? Last week we talked about standing on one leg and if it was tough for you to set your toe down and then if you, if you were better with your toe in the air the, to add some rotation. So with the progression after you get to that is now we want to we want to take the stable surface that you're standing on out of it. So we're going to use the Bosu Elite from WEC Method and I'm going to stand right on the top of it and now I have no stability from the ground. So now I have to use the ankle, the knee, and the hip to really stabilize. So this is just a progression from standing on the ground. And then once you can do that, you can start to add rotation in. And you can, add, you can rotate both ways. And that's really going to work those stabilizers in the lower body. So once you've mastered standing on one leg on the ground with rotation, try adding some instability. You can use a pillow at home. You can use anything that you can find that you're going to be safe on. But I do recommend the BOSU ball. It's an awesome piece of equipment for instability in your workouts. All right, so there's our second week of our preseason program. So what we've done is we piggyback off last week. We added some mobile stretches, some dynamic exercises that will help with your mobility in your upper back and your hips, and then some more balance work. And then we also included our all-star trainer Leo Rooney to demonstrate some exercises. Um, next week we're gonna bring more so we're gonna add to that we're gonna add a little strength stuff so we're gonna we're gonna strengthen the muscles that are really important in the golf swing so let us know if you have any questions as you're doing these we'd love to hear your feedback and if not we'll see you next week for some strength exercises.